Anushka, good evening. Thank you, sir. Good evening. Okay, so today, a uh, very, very relevant topic for discussion, and uh, that is what uh, most of the students uh, have the queries once they start thinking yeah. about education in US, and that is kharcha kitna hoga and uh, how much is the budget <laughs> for this. So you right. come today with the uh, important information for students. So what we are going to uh, cover in this entire video, Anushka? Okay, so uh, I'm going to tell all of the applicants or the students who are going to apply for PhD, who are thinking to apply for PhD, that what their budget should be and what uh, what is like the approximate expenses uh, they can consider till you get your first salary. So starting from the application process that you apply for GRE, that you take GRE exams, then IELTS exams, starting from that process, Till you get your first paycheck, that is around the month of October, I'll tell you what all expenses you have to cover and what is basic budget that is required in order to uh, cover all of the expenses. So, so, so that is same for MS and PhD students or some differences there? Currently, I'm just uh, talking about PhD uh, like for this session because uh, like I know even though PhD is fully funded, you still need some funds for like initial expenses till you get your first salary so mm. we can make a next uh, session video or we MS. can make a different video for ms as well yeah. mm -hmm. okay so okay. Start now, sure. yes yes sir. okay Okay, so as discussed, I'll be talking about the budget for moving abroad, particularly in uh, USA for a PhD. So starting from the application procedure till you get your first paycheck, what's going to be the approximate budget that you require is our today's topic. So let's get started. So first process is your application wherein you start taking your standardized tests that is GRE or TOEFL. So for GRE, you need around 22,550. But since it's optional, it's up to you if you have to take it uh, or not. Then for TOEFL and IELTS, the amount is almost same. It, it can cost you something around 17,000. Then uh, once you take your tests, you need to apply to the universities so application fee can vary depending upon the university but generally the range is from minor 5000 to 8400 that is 60 to 100 dollars so if you're applying for one university it can cost you around <clears throat> five to eight thousand but uh, this uh, like generally students or applicants apply to more than one universities for safe aside so if you consider that you're applying for five universities, it can cost you somewhere around 30, 30 to 31,000. And uh, while you're applying, they also ask you for your transcripts. So transcripts in India, the, the universities that you have done your bachelor's from, it's not by default uh, like uh, allotted to you. You have to apply separately for transcripts and based on or depending on your university, the transcript fees can be around I know, 1000 to 2000 per transcript but you need at least three because one of them uh, is for uploading it on the online uh, form that that is your application and rest two uh, you need it uh, to submit as an official one to, to directly uh, to the university so the total application cost it comes to around 77000 now, this is regarding the application or the initial process that you uh, do when you apply for PhD. The next, uh, once you have uh, your offer letter, then you have to apply for visa and immigration. So you get your I-20 and then you, you are <clears throat> ready to apply for your visa and immigration purpose. So you need to fill a visa application form and for that you have to pay a uh, amount of 15,380 and then you also need to pay service fee. This is only for US university. So this fee every graduate student has to pay uh, that. So the amount is 30,000 and then some of the universities, they ask for uh, some medical tests done or vaccinations, for example, TB vaccine or maybe meningitis vaccine. So the 
cost can vary but it's generally around 8000 and then some of the miscellaneous cost uh, like for visa application purpose you need photographs or notarizations so that can vary but it's around 2000 so the total visa and immigration cost it's around 55380 it's an approximate amount and it can vary uh, on person to person or an applicant to applicant then once you have your visa you're set to uh, like uh, book your air fare or you you are set to travel then comes your travel expenses now air fare that is your one way ticket so i had booked my air fare uh, like my flight from mumbai to my city that is labak so it costed me around 80000 but it can vary upon city to city so the one way ticket can cost you around 60000 to 1 lakh rupees and which includes your two checked in baggages and then you can also have your one cabin baggage and one small personal bag then uh, it's like recommended to have or to opt for a travel insurance in case there is any issue regarding your travel so uh you can um, go to book my trip and they'll just show you uh, travel insurance expenses and all so it can cost you around 2000 to 4000 so your total travel expense is uh, around 1 lakh rupees and then you have some of the pre departure expenses that is before you depart to the uh, country that is in the us so you need some uh, food kitchen and essential supplies so it can cost the utensils and the daily uh, things that you need for your routine routine purposes it can cost you around 20000 to 40000 and you also need some weather specific clothing because it's very cold here uh, in america and it varies on lifestyle like uh, every person has different lifestyle but the range is generally around 10 to 15000 and one recommendation is that regarding your electronics it's advisable that you buy it here in the us because you get a lot of uh, like student discounts and it's it's uh, better as compared to indian electronics quality wise and also you have like uh, the rates are very affordable as compared to india so your total pre departure expenses can vary uh, person to person but it comes to around 55000 then uh, why i am mentioning this particular cost uh, that is your living cost because you have to make arrangements uh, for your living costs before you get your first salary so my program start date here in the uh, here in my university it was 24th august if i'm not wrong and then my ta was going to start that is my job uh, my teaching assistantship it was going to start from september 1st so i was going to get my september's salary in the month of october so <clears throat> i got my first paycheck in the month of october that is on october 1st but till then i had to uh, make my like um, put my own uh, amount for my expenses so the rent uh, when you talk about rent it depends on place to place so texas is very affordable for student housing so like i had to pay for my two months rent and it costed like my two months rent costed me around 80000 but if you live in new york or new jersey it can cost you around 140000 this is for two months and then you have to pay separately for your utilities utilities can include your uh, water bill and then maintenance charges and also your electricity bill and if you have your uh landlord maintenance expenses then it can vary from 4200 to 16800 again it depends on the city that you are living but the general range is around 4000 to 16800 then you have to pay for groceries so groceries for two months can cost you around 33000 then comes transportation so you have a, like you you may have to book an uber or maybe uh uh catch boat trains or buses so the transportation uh, varies from 
city to city but the range is from 4000 to 10000 and then if you have any miscellaneous expenses for example if you are not cooking food at home and instead you are getting food from outside or maybe you are going to some parties so you should have your expense for your miscellaneous things so around 17000 and then you should always have some emergency funds because in case you have any health issue you have to pay some nominal amount in the hospital so it is it's advisable to have some of the emergency funds so when we add up all this or when we sum up all this amount so your total uh, living cost so sorry for this it's total 2 months living cost so it comes to around 2 lakh 38000 400 so this is for 2 months so the total expense or the total budget that you should consider uh, for like doing phd in usa it's around 5 lakh 30000 rupees but still it can vary from city and your personal lifestyle so the specific numbers will vary uh, will vary based on the destination country university and personal lifestyle but this is just an approximate range so i had uh, like i had uh, the expense of around 5 lakh rupees so i think uh, if you are if you are an applicant for phd in the us you will need approximately 5 to 6 lakh rupees and this is based on my personal experience and it's not any uh, like vague data that i'm showing you it's based on my whole personal experience and i had uh, like uh, utilized 5 lakh rupees for this so yeah that's it okay yeah, wonderful so very meticulous and detailed analysis anushka i must say Uh, so i was i was thinking like though we will make a separate video for ms but i was thinking like in ms yeah. only different thing can be fee structure otherwise i think uh, more or less yeah, one of is right the tuition fee tuition fee will That's be correct. different but though we'll make it yeah. and anushka how much uh, was the delay in getting the first paycheck or salary in phd like the day you joined university and after how many many months so i joined uh, like my program started it was 24th august and my first day of the ta that is teaching assistantship that i had to work for it was 1st september so for september salary i got it in 1st october on 1st october so so after one month you got it ah huh? yeah yeah Mm. but i had come here on august 1st so i had to cover the expense for whole august and then whole september mm. so is there any means or any way by which we can reduce it further this cost yeah actually i had my father had given an idea you cannot reduce it but you can uh, avoid spending your own money so i got a credit card from a third party app so they provided okay. me a credit card and i just uh, did all expenses from that card and i paid the bill of my credit card when i got my first salary so it was mm. not on my parents i just did it on my own So, yeah so let me ask you now very relevant question uh, how much money you need to take from your parents back home uh, like for the whole phd yeah because uh, other other obviously no no, no. this 5.5 to 6 lakh rupees expenditure yeah. you said i could get yeah. the benefit of us credit card also so mm -hmm. how much money a student should think of you know uh, uh, from getting from parents like suppose he is to get an arrange in india Uh, think of i am a student in PA, uh, aspiring for phd in us i don't want to spend money on my uh, parents also and i will avail the benefit of credit card so how much money still i need to because air fare and all these things i think i need to take from my parents only so how much that money is i think the whole cost it goes to around 5 lakh rupees i mean uh, are you specifically asking for any uh, allocation i mean for specifically for visa or yeah. are you talking so, when you come here with, What yes. is the amount that so this five point five to six lakh rupees was also your grocery, your staying there, and everything, right? In US, yes. Once you yes, reached in yes. US, so I'm saying yes. the credit card which you took from US that will also mm -hmm. cater to the expenditure, some expenditure in US, right? Yeah, actually, the credit card it had a limit of three uh, thousand dollars, so I had three thousand dollars with me in in the card. <laughs> Mm. So that means out of this five to six lakh rupees, three thousand dollars you can spend from credit card also. Oh yeah, 
yes yes mm, that means uh, for the parents burden on parents can be reduced to 2.5 lakh yeah mm, yeah okay mm-hmm. okay that is it so that was wonderful anushka i think uh, uh, and how many universities did you apply uh, with this i had applied to only two universities uh, to be very honest because i had just received uh, three positive replies in the end and then mm. i applied to uh, two two universities one i got rejected and one i got accepted this was the only university that i was accepted into so mm. yeah okay wonderful so i think that that's it uh, anushka look forward to have another yes. video on ms and how much is the expenditure on ms so yeah. uh, we make it for sure. the next week thank you thank you sir.